Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm inside of Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2017. I am in the minimal view up here. It's called minimal. You can also go up to window and go to workspaces and select a different workspace that you like. I'm going to choose minimal. So what I have here in my timeline is a lower third that I've made. And as you see, it animates in and then it animates out. I built this inside of the Titler tool and I'm gonna show you how to do this and a few things that you may have not known that you can do with the Titler tool. So I'm gonna go down here to new item and create a title. And then what I'd like to show you how to do is actually import a graphic inside of this Titler tool. So if you right click and you go to graphic, you can actually insert a PNG, a JPEG, you can even insert a Photoshop file. So I'm gonna insert this uh, play button here that I got from vectz.com. I'm gonna resize this, scale it down. If you hit shift and grab a corner, you can scale it down proportionally. Or if you right click, you can go to transform and scale, and you can scale it down to like, let's say, 50% if you want it to get smaller. So that's another way you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit smaller here. I'm gonna bring this down into the kind of lower third area. Now I wanna add um, an outer stroke to this graphic. So if you just go over here into the right hand panel and then I'm going to hit add outer stroke and you can change the color. Let's say we want it to be white to match the same color as the inside there. It looks pretty good. We can even change the size. Let's say we want it to be five, or maybe even eight. It's a good, good medium. Now I want to create a rectangle where the name um, and the title will go. So I'm going to go down here to rectangle tool and I'm going to create a new rectangle over top. And now you see that this layer is over top of that one. How do I fix that? Well, if you right click on the rectangle, you can go down to a range and you can send this rectangle to the back. And this is great because you can reorganize the layers. Now, unfortunately, it's not like Photoshop and you can't see the layers on the side. You just kind of have to send it back and forth to um, work with um, any sort of graphics or layers in the title tool. All right, so now you can see that there's this sort of outer white stroke here, um, which I don't want. So I'm gonna get rid of that outer stroke here. And then let's say you want to create a um, first name and a last name. We go up here to the type tool. Let's just go ahead and write first name, last name. And I'm gonna select this and choose a new font. But if you don't wanna create your own titles from scratch, you can see what sort of um, styles you like in this area. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of them. As you see, I click on them. They were kind of like a bit old school for me. Um, but I, I do like some of them, but you can actually save your own styles, which is pretty cool. So I created this style here called Futura T Bold, and that's the font that I like, and I put like a little outline around it. Um, but this time I actually want to change the color, right? Because I want it to match this peachy red color here, almost like a tomato. I'm going to go over here to um, the dropper tool. I'm just going to select this uh, peachy color here. And then I'm just gonna change the size. Let's change it maybe to 60, uh, maybe 50. There we go. I'm just gonna drag this in place here. And as you see, probably need to make this rectangle a little bit longer so it fits and maybe a little bit wider. Great. And let's make a little space here for a title um, for the person like where they live maybe so let's go back up here and let's change this color from white to black and let's make it Futura and let's change this to medium metallic and let's make it about 35. If I wanted to save this first name last name style just select it here in the titler tool and then over here in the title styles just right click in this area and click on new style and then you can save it. Whatever name you like, I'm just gonna hit okay. And now you'll see that I have this color saved as a new style. Another thing that you may not know inside of the title styles is you can actually go up and change the preview from the A. 
So like it's a capital A and a lowercase a, but what if you want a different letter? You can actually change that by going up to preferences and going to titler. Let's say we wanted it to be a P and a P and then you hit okay. And now all of them are P's, which is pretty cool. Another thing you can change is the, the preview here of the font. So A, A, E, G, Z, Z is, is random, but if you want something else, you can go to preferences, go to titler, and you can actually change this to any word that you want. You can put happy, whatever you like, and then hit okay. And now when you go over to preview, it now says happy in all the different fonts. So that's a pretty neat thing to know. So let's say that we're done with this and we want to add an, a little animation here. All we have to do is create a new sequence from this title inside the project panel. We want to add a little bit of movement here. So I'm just going to click on this and go up here to the effects controls, make a little bit more room here. Then, you know, after about one second in, I want to set a keyframe because this is where I want it to be. Pull this back in and I'm just going to drag this over. Okay. And then if I hit this arrow down, click on this, you can create some velocity change to make it sort of slide in quicker and then slow down. So you can see what I did there. You can round it out a little bit. So you see how the keyframes change. They're now temporal keyframes. They look like little hourglasses. So you got that. And then to animate it out, just go ahead and hit another keyframe and then pull it along to a future point. Let's say right there. And then I'm just going to drag this number 960 back, back off screen to the left, right? And then click on this and you can also change the velocity as well to match the other. And so it just slowly pulls back, okay? All right, so that's it. I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to learn anything else by going to my website, premiergal.com slash tutorials and leaving a request there. I will see you guys next week. Bye.